a rain-drenched Dope Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida. Welcome to our BCS Spotlight Game presented by ADT. As ABC Sports brings you to Tallahassee for fifth-ranked Florida State and number two Miami, both undefeated at 5-0. Today, Brock Berlin will try to become the first first-time starting quarterback for the Canes since 87 to win here. On the other side, Miami has won three straight. The Florida State seniors, led by Bowl Ware and company, have never beaten their arch nemesis from Miami. 47th reunion next. For the 17th time in the last 20 years, both teams ranked in the top 20, but only the fourth time both teams ranked in the top five. Here comes Florida State. Both times they won their national championship, they beat these guys to get there. Here's the five-time national champs from South Florida. Ricks running out of time, and down he goes. Sacked by Thomas Carroll. Way back at the 18-yard line. Now Berlin from the gun again. Rock's got trouble from behind. He got rid of it, though, and completed it to Ryan Moore on the run. Four down the sideline, all the way down to the 29-yard line. Winslow in motion. Second man through is Peyton, and Peyton broke a tackle. Jared Peyton all the way down to the 11-yard line. 17 yards for Peyton. Be on the march. Try to score first. Wide open on a crossing pattern. Roscoe Parrish. But Florida State's going to track him down before he can get to the first down marker. Got to about the five. Looked in the stands. Someone on the Miami student section here just blew a whistle prior to the play. And this one's blocked. Miami blocks the kick, scoops it up. Sean Taylor at the 14-yard line. Tell you what, Florida State would like to have that first punt back, wouldn't they? Sure would. Three hurricanes there. And then Sean Taylor scoops it up. Right up in here. First big break goes to Miami. So now let's see if the Canes can capitalize. At the 14. Brock Berlin on first down. Down the middle. Got it to Winslow. And Kellen Winslow to the nine. Picked up five. Kick our scoreless tie. And this time he's got it. John Petty with the right foot from 27 yards out. Gives us our first score of the ball game. Remember, it came after the block punt. So Miami draws first blood up three. Monroe high short kick off the side of his foot. This is a free ball. Did Miami catch it? Jenkins says he did. The officials have not signaled yet. They did. The oddest onside look and kick you'll ever see. Miami's got the ball back. It's a gutsy call by Larry Coker. Ball's coming down to the top middle right here. It's coming. Now he got it. Whether he gets his feet, foot in bounds, just have to get one foot in bounds. It's like catching a ball. Looked like he did. Missed from 22. He hit from 27. This is his second crack from 22, only this time from the right hash mark. John Petty to try to make it 6 0, and he does for Miami. But Florida State's got to be breathing a sigh of relief and saying, wait, we haven't even seen the ball in the last five minutes, and we're still only down six points. And mark my words, those missed opportunities for the for the Hurricanes inside the 20, settling for field goals, is going to come back to hurt them. Three trips in the red zone and only six points. Data pickup of 12. And here's the inside handoff to Booker. And he lost the ball. Chris Ricks got on top of it. Nope, Miami's got it. Ricks is the one with it in his hands. The officials saying that Miami had it and fumbled it, but they were down 
when they fumbled it when Ricks got on it. Vince Wilfork put a fork in it, I think, and then lost it. You're absolutely correct, Brad. It was Vince Wilfork that took it from Lorenzo Booker, picked it up off the ground. But when he fell to the ground, I'm standing there looking at him. I didn't see the football. Of course, you can hide the football around yeah. Vince Wilfork pretty easily. That's right. Here's another look as Booker is hit. See, that's the problem. Booker, and there, there's a there's a fumble being picked up by Wilfork. And Wilfork, oh, it did come out before he was down. Booker. Dangerous spot, spot to play from though. It's Ricks on a quarterback draw, and he's buried at the one. Sean Taylor from the secondary. Receiver group, and he'll give it off to Greg Jones. And Jones is swarmed under Sean Taylor, always around the ball, yeah. and it's a loss of four. That run game that was there against Miami last year is nothing this year. Ricks. From the gun, deep down the middle, Look overshot out. his man. It's intercepted, and it's Sean Taylor making another big play. See, that's 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 where the inconsistency of Chris Ricks comes into play. Should have never thrown that ball. It was a tough, tough try to get. He's got to try to hit the receiver coming straight down the middle of the field. Chris Davis was the intended receiver. He looks there all the way and just throws it up. Had a guy short, had a guy deep. That's one that Chris should have never thrown. Third and four. Berlin fires. Boy, that's a dangerous pass. And Roscoe Parrish not only caught it, he got a first down. Rufus Brown, number Fonzo Thorpe making big play. No doubt. Play action for Berlin. Flares it out to Kellen Winslow on the run. Winslow down the sideline. B.J. Ward has to collar him, but not before he got to the 46-yard line. Way 350. They come with an end around to Parrish. Pretty active on this drive. Roscoe Parrish down to the 30. Parrish in motion. Brock Berlin. Plenty of time. Oh, oh Parrish is polarized by Stanford Samuels. You felt that one up here. You saw it coming. Oh, boy. That could wake up this Florida State team right there. It just woke up their crowd. Woke it up almost the put Roscoe Parrish to sleep, though. This is, this is the fall of the quarterback. You saw it was a zone coverage, and you can't throw it that far out there because you know the corner on that side is just sitting out there waiting for somebody to come into his area. At the Knowles 14. Berlin. Green. The screen pass to Peyton down the sideline. Jared Peyton, touchdown. Great call. 14 yards, Jared Peyton in the end zone. Miami leads 12-0. You put your big target, Winslow, who everybody's going to know where he is, out to the right side. They double cover him, and then you screen to that side. Winslow comes inside, attracts all the attention. Myers and Rodriguez, the offensive lineman, out in front of Peyton. That's just an excellent call. And we were, the three of us had a function last night, and Swanee, you made a great point as you see Parrish being taken off, guy that took the big hit before the third down. And Swanee, sometimes you can be the most dangerous guy in the field and not catch the ball. That's correct. We were talking about Kellen Winslow and, and how well he was playing, but there's no stat for a guy who's double covered, draws it away, and opens up the field for a touchdown for somebody else. By the way, Parrish who goes off the field. They said his stomach hurts, his chest hurts. They're going to take him in and evaluate him, and they think he's going to be okay. Chris Ricks was intercepted the last time they had the ball. Here he pulls it down and will go down. Sacked. Ricks in trouble again. Trying to scramble out, and the ball is loose. He fumbles it. Miami's got it. Thomas Carroll this time. Much like the problems that Chris Ricks had against Notre Dame and Miami last year, they're resurfacing right now. That's the third turnover for the Seminoles, and they've had a punt block. When you, when you take off and running, you got to make a decision to secure the football, San protect the ball. It's Antonio Thomas is the guy that forced it out. On fourth and two, Berlin looks over and got it to him easily, and he's knocked out. But not before he got a first down. Boy, 
Greg Jones has seven yards on six carries. He'd been negative yardage until there. That's Ricks going up for Thorpe, and it's intercepted near midfield. Sean Taylor's got another one. Who else? Taylor weaving his way back inside the 20. He might score. Taylor, touchdown! 48 yards, Sean Taylor for the score. saw the best free safety in America right there pick off a throw that shouldn't have been made he and Stu Schweiger at Purdue I think none of us would argue they're the two best around and this guy he'll not only hit you he's got great wheels and he showed it on that weaving run for the touchdown the ball is wet I know it's tough to throw you're trying to throw a deep ball down the sideline the wind is blowing and these aren't easy conditions but you've got to take care of the ball Petty's extra point is good. Now it's all Miami. When Florida State had hoped they could get something out of this offensive drive. Sean Taylor with the interception has made it 19 to nothing. That's his sixth interception of the year. His second return for a touchdown. Well, Bob and Bradley go back to what Larry Coker told me during pregame warm-up. The rain is not going to dictate to you that you necessarily don't throw the football, but just how you throw it. Those kinds of passes today are just not are just not high percentage passes. Too many things can go wrong, as you said. And Larry Coker on his defense's touchdown. That's the eighth time they've scored a touchdown on something other than offense this year. And remember, they blocked a punt that led to a field goal earlier. So right. tack on some more points. Non-offensive touchdowns. Miami has led that category the last four years. And now the Canes can smell blood in the water as they bury Cromartie on the kick return. Play six. Ricks flushed from the pocket. The chase balls loose again. Big pile up right in front of the Florida State bench. Still Seminole ball. Yeah, went out. See if he throws it here. It's going to be an option pitch, and it's fumbled by Washington. And scooped up by Miami. Thomas Carroll's got his second fumble recovery of the day. Oh, boy, when it goes bad, some days just get worse. See, now that's on that's on Chris Rex. When, when, when the conditions aren't ideal, you have to make an extra effort to make sure that the pitchers are there and everything else. He's going to fake, and then he's going to pitch to Washington. Now, Washington is, is one of the guys that hasn't been practicing the last few weeks because of injury. But he's a guy that's got some, some shake and bake and get some plays done. But the quarterback's got to make the extra effort. This is another chip shot right in front, as Bob said. From 19 yards out to try to make it 22 to nothing, and he does. So the fumble recovery, as it did in the first half, turns into three points. And number two, Miami stretches its lead over Florida State to 22 to nothing. Fumble again. It almost went up again. Leon Washington saying, My fault, as he's tapping that number three. <laughs> Straight ahead again. First down run out to the 26, as it's been most of the day. Ricks has a man open. Got him. No. Oh, he dropped it. Robinson dropped it. He got hit at about the five, and the ball squirted out. Somebody's got to make a play. Now he goes straight down the field. He's wide open. Guess who makes the hit to make sure he doesn't catch it? I think I think they all are looking for Sean Taylor. I there think they've was. seen I've seen I think they've seen what he has done in the past, and they they're kind of getting a little uh, light-footed. Now the Knowles would like to come up with another one. Peyton straight up the middle. Peyton into the secondary. Best run of the day for Jared Peyton. And the Knowles showing blitz. They back out of it. It's a draw play to Peyton, and Peyton here he goes again. Out across the 40 to the 42, maybe on his way to a 100-yard day is Jared Payton. Yeah. But if you're going to run a slant, you may run. you got to be careful. Third and eight. Here's his pass. It's short to Winslow on the run. He'll have a first down and more. Still on his feet. Broke a tackle at the 40. Winslow down the sideline. The ball is loose. Florida State trying to get it. Did they get there? They did. Bryant McFadden's got it. They worked from the 44 with a first down. Ricks Look out. floats it out to Booker, and he is dropped 
for a loss of about five. As we check in with John in New York. Thorpe in motion toward the ball. Ricks in trouble, and down he goes. Oren Harris, those two have had a lot of conversations today. Goal at the Kings four. Jones again. Up the middle. Maybe got to the two, and then he got planted. Vilma is there, so is Greg Three. There's a little bit of hitting going on right now, partner. Our football here. And he wants a little divine intervention. He wants Greg Jones in the end zone, and he's not getting anywhere near the line of scrimmage. Yeah. D.J. Williams led the charge. Hail Mary to end the first half. Ricks scrambles, has to get rid of it. Wobbling pass, and it's almost intercepted. It's incomplete. Greg Treat broke it up. Miami takes over. Winslow in motion. Garrett Payton. Payton bounces out across the 10 and up to the 16-yard line. Big, big run. Closing in on 100. Closing in on another win for Miami. Let's Last chance for Florida State on fourth and two. Chris Ricks trying to buy himself some time. Lofts it out for Crafonzo Thorpe. Broken up by Sean Taylor. How many times have we said that today? So Miami will take over. Many of you that are waiting for the Oklahoma-Texas game, you'll see your kickoff. We've got a timeout with 2.41 remaining in the ball game. Miami is in command, and it appears the number two team in the country will be 6-0 moments from now. Play the ball game. It will be the last play, barring a penalty. Throw to the end zone, touchdown! Chris Davis... Chris Ricks finds Chris Davis in the end zone. It's just going to make the scoreboard look a little better. 16-yard touchdown pass. Too little, too late. But he never gave up. Nope. Kept fighting. Maybe learn something from this. And the Canes can celebrate. Brock Berlin still unbeaten as their quarterback. 22 to 14. Miami wins it. So the Canes, number two in the nation, go to 6-0. and oh. The score is closer than the game really was. It was Miami's ball game, though they got sloppy in the second half with some turnovers. They pretty much dominated play today and showed that they are indeed among the elite. Florida State has to regroup a little bit. They lose their first one of the year to go to 5-1, and one, and they will drop probably out of the top ten. So you can see Swanee is lining up with Larry Coker. Let's go down to him. Lynn. Well, Coach, tough, sloppy, hard-fought ball game. If you have one game ball, do you give it to Sean Taylor or do you give it to special teams? I'll tell you what, special teams, sure, but Sean Taylor was phenomenal today. you got, you got to give Sean Taylor a, a game ball. This, this was just a great effort by our football team. We didn't flinch. We came into a tough environment against an outstanding football team. This is a great win for us. Coach, thank you very All much. Right. Brad? Thanks, All right, fellas, that's the final 22-14 to 14 from Tallahassee. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. Coming up next, the second half of our college football doubleheader. Most of you'll see top-ranked Oklahoma against Texas. Others will see Penn State battle Purdue on the West Coast. You'll see Oregon and Arizona State. Once again, our final score, number two Miami over number five Florida State, 22 to 14 is our final. For Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan and our ABC crew from Tallahassee, I'm Brad Nessler. So long.